full of hate. He butters, cries, and a dark shadow falls over this troll. From the ashes of a once great fandom has risen a meme, an LOL that must be liked. We look to the airways for a vindicator, someone to strike fear in the dark basement of the parents who created him. The battle between fan and smirk has begun. With a head on his shoulders stands the smirk fan, a speaker of truths, with a voice of silence, and a radio show of justice. This is Ring Rust. So if you want to follow along the story I'm about to read, pop on over to the Ring Rust Facebook page, click on like if you haven't already, and scroll on down to Tokyo, USA, and the UK, all within 10 days for the champ. And that's from Ring of Honor Wrestling. For years, Jay Lethal has been building his reputation as one of the absolute best professional wrestlers in the world, not just today, but of all time. And he cemented that claim at Best of the World 2015 when he finally achieved his ultimate goal of winning the ROH World Championship. Lethal had long claimed to be the only real champion in wrestling and the greatest first-generation wrestler. Despite his arrogance, Lethal's boasts were well-founded. He has risen through the ranks of professional wrestling through his own hard work and dedication, and though not always humble about it, he represents Ring of Honor as the ultimate champion. The World Championship became a true World Championship on March of 2003 when Samoa Joe defended it in England against the Zebra Kid. Since then, the title has been defended around the planet, making it... How about I drop the was? Since then, the title has been defended around the planet, making it globally elite, uh, making it a globally elite ch- championship coveted by athletes all around the world. That's a terribly structured sentence as it's written there. Jay Lethal himself has made it his mission to defend his championship against the top professional wrestlers, everyone and everywhere. Jay has started 2016 making good on his promise. Within just 10 days, he'll have defended the ROH Championship in Japan and in England. As part of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 10, Liesl defended the title against a familiar foe in Michael Elgin. This was the first time he defended the championship on international soil, but it will be far from the last. As part of a three-day tour with Five Star Wrestling, Jay Liesl can be seen in Newcastle on Wednesday, January 13th, or was, I guess I should say, seen... On January 13th at the Newcastle Metro Arena. The following night, last night, he was in Sheffield at the Sheffield Arena. And final stop for Five Star Wrestling, heading to Liverpool tonight at the Liverpool Echo Arena. For more uh, details on all these massive events, head over to fivestarwrestling.co.uk. And that's a five, the number, not spell out. Tomorrow, uh, January 17th, the City of London gets a lethal injection. Jay will be there for Revolution Pro defending the ROH World Heavyweight Championship against a major standout in the British professional wrestling scene, Mark Haskins. This is a massive opportunity for Haskins. Not only is the World Championship on the line, which would immediately make him the major star in Ring of Honor, but his match will have eyes on it from around the world. For more information about Revolution Pro, check out their official website at www.revolutionprowrestling.com. With multiple international championship defenses in less than two weeks' time, Jay Lethal is showing the entire planet that he truly is a world champion. There's no telling where and against whom he'll defend his next title. But one thing is for sure, Jay Lethal is starting 2016 as your world heavyweight champion, and he intends to stay on top of the world for a very long time. And I quote... Check out the TMZ of Professional Wrestling News. And I quote on Facebook. All the latest news with some attitude, new and classic wrestling videos, and so much more. Can I have your attention, please? I just received an email from the Raw General Manager. This is Fanboy Mark Tabroni. You are listening to Ring Rust on oh, 93.5 CHMRFM. 
There are apparently rumors going around online that WWE is planning on releasing Daniel Bryan next Monday. According to McManopolis City Council, these reports are untrue. Rumors stem from a blog posted on Scott's blog of doom. It was claimed that the email came from a WWE HR employee, but apparently it's another made-up claim. Keith broke the news of John Cena filming a reality series for Fox last year, but was wrong on a report about the former American Dragon returning to action. Again, there's no truth to the rumors that WWE Wrestling's evicting Brian from McManopolis on January 18th. So you can stop butthurting about it already. You're listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. Hmm, that almost sounds like I'm asking you to solve your own problem. Anyway, this is Fabio Marchironi. You are listening to Ring Rust. Oh, now 3.5. See you FM. Looks like NXT star Levis... They have... Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this. Levis Valenzuela will be receiving a new character soon. WWE followed to trademark the term No Way Jose earlier this month for use with a new character. Sources are reporting that the term's for Valenzuela. The Dominican wrestler from North Carolina, who uses the name Manny Garcia, ha- was moved to M- McManopolis uh, in May of last year. He's been doing a dancing gimmick as of late. So, yeah. It's not like it's likely to be racist at all, though, is it? Because uh, we know how all these uh, racial... How would you phrase it? How would you phrase that? Not racially charged. Like, like well, appealing to a particular demographic, I guess. Well, Razor Ramon sort of ended up working out. Kind of. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. So I guess he kind of worked out. And, well, it's the newer ones, I guess. That, uh, you know, remember Jesus? You probably don't. Well, he was the guy who used to come out with uh, Carlito Caribbean Cool way back when. You were listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. Maybe if the Reverend Jacob Clemens makes a comeback and goes and performs where Alanis Morissette is, maybe I'll haul that out and then... Top Japanese star Shinzuki Nakamura, who was stripped of the IWGP International Championship this week, is headed to the United States to to spend some time at the WWE Performance Center in early February. Nakamura is set to spend several weeks there to train and will also undergo medical testing, possibly in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where they usually do it. If Shinzuki passes everything, he'll be cleared to sign with the company. And that'll be some interesting matches. Like a lot, like they're they How many have they had so far from New Japan? From well, not necessarily specifically New Japan, but from Japan, basically. Well, from New Japan specifically, we have Finn Balor, uh, current uh, NXT champion. So that's a that's a plus. And we have Asuka from Japan, and she's certainly a plus. And uh, yeah, she's been she's been having some rather interesting matches and. Has a rather neat entrance and ring gear and kicking people in the head style. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, what uh, Shinzuki Nakamura does in WWE and what name they'll give him. Because they're sometimes hit and miss with the names that they give the characters. But I guess if he's going through NXT, they're probably going to do that much more to actually make him... Now, mind you, once... He's done with NXT and moves to WWE. They might change him again. I don't know. They might change his name again. Well, they don't have, don't have a history of treating Japanese or, for that matter, Asian wrestlers all that with all that much respect, unlike in New Japan. You are listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. This is Fanboy Mark Gibroni. You are listening to Ring Rust. Oh, not a 3.5. See you tomorrow, fam.
Seeking Alpha reports that Shane McMahon is now the vice chairman of the multi-platform uh, entertainment company he founded and has been working with in China, You On Demand. The company made several changes this week, including adding two members to their board. So stop saying Shane McMahon should come back to WWE. Because he isn't. Because he won't. Grow up. Well, you keep saying, bring back the Attitude Era. And then they give you a little piece of the Attitude Era. And you say, oh, too far, man, too far. Oh, he should apologize for doing that. So... You don't get the Attitude Era. You don't want it, obviously, so you don't get it. They keep giving you little snippets of it because, oh, the Internet's calling for it, so let's just give them a little bit and see what happens. And this is what happens. And they say, LOL, I guess the fans are stupid. So uh, they have posted uh, online a uh, trailer for EA Sports UFC 2, And CM Punk's character can be seen in that trailer. So if you want to check it out, maybe you've already seen it. You think, eh, it's okay. They pretty much just took his skin from WWE 2K, which one? 2K 12, 13? What what would have been the last one he was in? I don't know. Different company, though, isn't it? EA Sports? Well, yeah, 2K. Anyway, well, 2K Sports does, uh, well, that would be kind of stupid then. If they literally just took the skin from... Another company's game, that would be sort of silly and actionable. You're listening to Ring Rush for Ducks on Gerbronology TV. This is Fabio Mark Gerboni. You are listening to Ring Rush on 93.5 CDRFM. Not directly to do with wrestling, but couldn't it be? That's something I like to do, like uh, sort of like a justification, I suppose, for playing songs that aren't directly related to wrestling. It's like, I think some wrestler somewhere could use this as a theme song, or it could be a good theme song for a show, or for, you know, a tribute video or something. Like, I've played songs on here that I've actually personally have done tribute videos for various wrestlers. I've done one for Velvet Sky, did one for Stardust. Was it Golden Stardust? I don't remember. And I did one for uh, my uh, top ten Summer Slams as well. So if you want to check out my YouTube channel, Fanboy Mark Jabroni, pop on over there and have a look, have a gander at them, and uh, check those videos out and uh, tell me what you think of the uh, the music I used. They're all all Canadian acts. Uh, two of them have uh, Chevy Newfoundland acts. Actually, more to the point, uh, two of them use Chevy, and one of them uses uh, a song from the album I played earlier, for a Cover Story. So, next up, Darren Young tweeted this photo of the WrestleMania 32 promotion WWE's doing with the Texas Lottery this year. And there he is, associated with WrestleMania. So who's there? That's Charlotte, and Rusev, and Brock Lesnar, and Titus O'Neil, I assume, and Darren Young. Win up to $25,000, asterisk. Only 25,000 winners, and they'll all win a dollar each. That's just me being cynical. But anyway... This is a great chance to start slamming wrestling news radio on Rick Rust, CHMR 93.5 FM. So, indie vet Luke Hawks uh, appeared in a backstage segment on Monday's Raw and worked a dark match at Tuesday's SmackDown tapings. Apparently, other wrestlers from Wildcat Sports and Entertainment in Louisiana also received tryouts for WWE this week. It's good to hear, good to see that they have tryouts, and presumably they'll be on NXT before they are actually on WWE. Anyway, we'll see. You're listening to Ring Rush Redux on Gerbronology TV. This is Fabio Mark Gerboni. You are listening to Ring Rust on oh, 93.5 CHMRFM. The latest season of WWE Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin's Redneck Island will premiere on CMT at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, January 28th. This will be the fifth season. And if Steve Austin being on Tough Enough is any indication, I can only imagine how he's going to talk to the various contestants. You are completely pathetic. Late 
like me on Facebook, tinyurl.com slash ringrust. Follow me on Twitter, at Mark Jabroni. And subscribe to Jabronology TV, youtube.com slash fanboy Mark Jabroni. Dana White reveals who he believes will be CM Punk's first UFC opponent to Michael Landsberg on Off the Record on TSN. I got a link posted that you want to check out the video on the uh, CHMR's Ring Rust Facebook page. Give that a go. That's it for another show, kiddies. Check me out on Facebook where you can keep track of all the news that's right on the mark from around ringside to the latest concerts. See you at the shows. Later days. This is 93.5 CHMRFM.